Brother Scott Wilson will be preaching, ministering later on. But we're here tonight to let the Holy Ghost have its way. And everything that's sent and done, we want the Lord uh, to move. Amen. Appreciate the service last night and Monday night. Appreciate the word that Brother Timothy brought, the authority that we have in the name of Jesus. And Monday night we preached concerning the Holy Ghost. And uh, we, we need good good preaching like this. We need good sound doctrine preached like this. Um, some of the comments we've been hearing from people that have been coming this week say some of the preaching they hadn't heard like heard, heard like this in a long time or any churches around in the area seem to be a lot of them talking about everything else except Jesus or the Holy Ghost or the blood and everything like that. But we appreciate that God is still has a people that's going to lift up His name, that's going to worship Him, that's going to preach the Word of God in its fullness. And I thank God for that. Does anybody have any uh, anybody have a special prayer request here this evening? Anybody? Brother, we got several God knows all about. It. All right. Praise the Lord. Praise God. I've had had several prayer requests coming in. Uh, the sister sent in a prayer request for somebody that has cancer and is really close to uh, really close to death and really needs a touch of the Lord in her body. More than that for their soul. So keep this person in prayer. And uh, if you have any unspoken prayer requests, you can raise your hand to the Lord. He knows all things and He sees all things. Those that can, or if you will, you can stand tonight. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father God, Lord, we come before you here this evening. Lord, with a humble and grateful heart, to knowing that you are our Savior, you are our healer, you are our deliverer. God, I pray that you will meet you each and every need under this tent. God, we pray, Lord, for this lady with this cancer god we curse this cancer off of her command this spirit of death to leave her and go in the name of jesus christ uh, you know in each and every heart each and every need lord every family and household represented here god we lift our families our husbands our wives our sons our daughters our grandchildren lord up to you knowing that you have the answer that you are the answer lord we pray god that you would move tonight in this place Lord, and bless the people. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. You, Amen. We want to sing here tonight, kind of get started. I mean, let's just sing, There is power in the blood. And that'll be in G, I believe it is. Praise God. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood. Thank you. 
thankful there's power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you're here tonight, amen, and you don't know about this blood of Jesus, can I tell you, you can know about it tonight. If there's anything in your life that you know that's not right between you and God, there's a blood that's still flowing today like it did 2,000 years ago. There's still a blood and a fountain, amen, that can wash you, can cleanse you, amen, can set you free. It's in the blood of Jesus. Praise God. Amen. I want to, I want to, if it's, if it's all right, Sister uh, Sister Wilson want to get up and sing a song tonight or something. And maybe after that, let Sister Doris, would you sing a song? Do you have a song book with you or just something off the top of your head? Or All right. We'll let you sing after that. Brother Helmet picking on his wife there. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you. First of all, I want to say it's good to be here and y'all just pray for us and pray for these three kids I keep off and on and they're not used to going regular to church, but y'all pray for them. God had asked me to sing a song, and i am not sung it in a while because I've not been able to go to church myself. Since December, I think I've been probably about ten times because my mother's sick and I stay with her. And um, I didn't know what key to sing the song again, so we're going to skip that one and go to another one. This is so faithful. When I don't have a song and don't feel like singing, this is my song because I can sing it day or night. Or not. <laughs> talk about the victory. We got to cross the Red Sea. I walk across the dry land. Pharaoh's army trying in the deep. By the time he did his preaching, it was plain to see that God delivered those before you do it again for me.
Thank you. Got a feeling in your heart the best is yet to come. Praise God. Sister Wanda, okay, you want to get up here and sing a song tonight? Somebody testify first. Uh, well, in that, in that case, we'll have Uncle Uncle Frankie, Jeff, you want to sing one right quick or testify either one. Because I'm going through. Yes. I got to thinking, whoo! When you get two songs like that back to back, devil, you can't stop me. I'm going to the other side because things are better. Yes. I heard the song on the radio a few days ago and I heard it today. And here's what it said if you could get a glimpse of what is over yonder, then you wouldn't want to stay down here. Amen. I thought whoever wrote that song, boy, they had their mind on heaven. You get a glimpse of that, you don't want this. Right. Amen. Amen. I'll say this and say, I got some suits, and you know, probably don't have them. They're rather, I think they're rather nice suits. And I got to thinking, after I got them, I got to thinking. If he would not look back down here now, and he'd probably look at me and say, Frankie, what are you doing with them rags on yeah. And don't tell him what his wife gave for them suits when she bought them for him years ago. But he'd probably classify them as rags. <laughs> Woo! He said, well, boy, I wore them rags one time, but hell, look what I got. It must have been a sad day for all his disciples. When Jesus was going away, but while he rode through the crowd, he came a message. I'm gonna come back for you to say, yes, he did. on the ship and they, they told him not to sail 
And we all know the angel said, you, you, you can be okay, nobody going to die. But when Paul got there, we know that he that Piper come out of the wood and bit him. And they told him, he's going to die. We don't know what he done, but he's going to die. He shook it off. He didn't die. Then they decided he was some kind of God. But after all he went through, he wound up praying for a man that was on that island. He prayed for the man and God healed him. And once he got healed, then everybody started coming and wanting to get tough. So all he went through brought a revival on the island. And then when it was over with, they started to leave. They gave him stuff and they gave it plenty. They were treated kind. But the revival broke out. So you may be going through torment, it seems like now, pure hell itself. But if you just hang in there and keep fighting, <laughs> it just might be you see revival. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, Jonas, when I sat there, I sat there and I wanted to shout, but I thought, I don't think I'm going to shout. I'm going to get the goods out of this. <laughs> I'll leave you with this. Have you ever been to church when it feel like you just got a slice of bread? You just got a slice of bread? But then have you been to church where you feel like you got the whole loaf of bread? <laughs> but I like him kind when you get in church, you not only get the loaf of bread, but it's like he turns a honey bucket over and just soaks the bread in honey. Yeah, come on. And then he smeared a little butter on it. Woo! That's the kind we had around here Monday night, buddy. We got the bread and the honey and the butter and so let's get some bread and butter and honey again tonight. Come on, Nick. Wait, he touched on there something there just a little bit, and I got to add something to that if that's all right. You remember when Jesus talked to the devil and he spoke to him whenever he was being tempted? He said, "Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth from the mouth of God." Now you can look at that several different ways, thinking about the natural bread, but he said, man shall not live by bread alone. There's a lot of people that are being fed bread all the time, and they don't get nothing else. The Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Everything that's in the word of God, you get it all together and you eat it, and you chew on it a little while. Not just the bread part, but you get some of that butter that he's talking about, some roast beef and some steak and some fried chicken, fried potatoes and turnip greens and all that. Just mix it all together. Everything in the Word of God was made for our soul, our spirit man. So don't just get one part and get the whole thing. Every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Amen. Just go ahead and sing. This song is called The Name of the Lord is a Strong Tower. Yes. You know, the, it said the righteous run in, they are saved. Yes. You know, when you are in trouble and all, yes. you can run into Jesus, the yes. bosom. The, he's like a, a hen. And underneath the, the little baby chicks, they're afraid to come, and the hen comes up, and not sit on them, but cover them yes. with the wings. This yes. is what it is. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, a righteous body.
right to ride in They are saying The name of my Lord is A strong tower A right to ride in They are saying And this sister, sister here is the. Well, everybody else will back you. Just sing a song that everybody knows, you know. Come on, Granny, get you one of my. No, no, let somebody else sing. All right. Okay. I ain't never done that. You hadn't. All right. All right. Well, praise the Lord. Anyhow. <laughs> all right. Um. Uh, with uh, Sister Kim back there, do you want you or one of you guys to come prepared? I saw the guitar or bass or whatever that mysterious object is in that case there is. If y'all y'all come on up, and then I reckon right after that, you and Sister Ashley want to sing. Okay, we'll just we'll just have a couple more songs, and I'm gonna turn it over to. I tell you what, while they're coming on up this way, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. The offering tonight we're going to be taking up, going to be for the minister, Brother Scott Wilson, tonight. And if you have anything you want to go for the ministry of the tent, just come up here and leave it in this other basket over here after the service. And uh, we do appreciate again, Sister Dorothy, for allowing us to have the property here to use and a place to set the tent up. I appreciate everybody that's come out so far. Help us get the word out. There's been a lot of people saying this weekend that they're going to be able to come up and everything and help a lot more. Uh, we have anybody that would like to volunteer to pass this thing around? You can. I got this gentleman right here. He'll do it. Just kind of pass it, <clears throat> pass it around. And that, this will be going to Brother Scott Wilson tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we ask your blessings to be upon this offering. God, here tonight, Lord, as it goes to Brother Scott here tonight, Lord, and the minister of your word, Lord, I pray that your anointing will be upon him, Lord, as he brings forth the word. God, that you would anoint him, Lord, lead and guide and direct him, Lord, and help us to receive, Lord, that that the Spirit is saying to us tonight. Thank you, Lord, for it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Joy we share as we 
Baby 